Hey guys, this is Gaming Chick, and I'm going to be playing some Zelda trivia. Sorry, I'm gonna move that. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing some tri Zelda trivia games. So, um, I'm gonna start off with an easy one, and I'm going to do Link to the Past. I'll do some harder ones later. Okay, so let's see Link to the Past, Link to the Past. Link to the past. Um, test your general knowledge in the critically acclaimed, widely popular SNES game. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one. Oh, that one I know a little bit about, but oh, I need to do that, don't I? In one of my um things. Oh, I'll, I'll think about doing that. That's gonna empty my uh rupee pocket. I might just do that and then start the other one um Thursday. So next Thursday, sorry. Oh, that's just the smoke alarm. They're we're baking some fries. Well, we're making corn dogs and fries. That's what we're having. Okay, so timed or HTML. I like this one. I don't like timed. Timed is just too pressurey. Yeah. But if you guys want me to play timed, I will do that for you guys. But for now, I'm just going to do me. Um, do what's you know, what I am comfortable with. Okay, so, first question. A Link to the Past centers around a holy relic that grants the powers of those who touch it. What is the relic called? Oh, that's just so freaking easy, guys. It's the Mazda Sword. I'm just kidding. It's the Triforce. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. The enemy that Link must defeat in order to first rescue Princess Zelda used what? Uses what weapon? Well, that's easy because I use it now in Twilight Princess. Ball and chain. Okay. When you acquire the Pegasus boots, you are able to chase down a speedy boy, the speedy boy in the uh, Kikaraku 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 village. That uh, what does he give you for catching up to him? A piece of heart. Bug net, uh, a bug catching net, magic bottle, or nothing. Well, I wish there was a piece of heart. If they did an updated version, maybe they could, but nothing. It just gives you some information about the trees. You can bang into them and get, like, rupees and hearts, and then later, of course, it's just rupees and bees. Okay. <clears throat> the third pendant in the light world can be obtained by defeat. Yeah, by defeating Mulderm. A wormy, a squirmy worm that just won't stay put. If you're not, hold on. If you're not careful, Mulder can push you off the side of his platform or through a hole on it. What happens in this instance? You fall to the floors below. You lose one heart and are placed back in the entrance of the room. You die immediately. You take no damage and are placed back in the entrance of the room. I wish that was, or, you know, at least one heart but back there. But no, you fall down to the floors below. And then I have to deal with those stupid, annoying beetles, especially with the red one. Anyways, uh... If Link does not have the E-Blank, then he will transform into a blank when in the Dark World. What goes in the blanks? Oh, that's easy! If you don't have the Moon Pearl, you turn into a frog. I'm just kidding. If you don't have the Magic Mirror, you turn into a frog. I'm just kidding. If you don't have the Magic Mirror, you turn into a bunny. Oh, wait, no. If you don't have the Moon Pearl, yeah, the Moon Pearl, then you'll turn it into a bunny. A pink bunny, of course. Okay. I need to drink water. Okay. All right, so next question is, to enter the Palace of Darkness, Link must rely on the help of a monkey friend named Kiki. How many rupees total, or how many total rupees does Kiki ask for? Oh, well, so first of all, he asked for only, hold on, how am I, shoot. He asked for ten, and then he, he asks for 100 rupees. That's why I gotta get like lots of rupees before I leave the light, light world. So I'm pretty sure it is 110. Hopefully I'm right. Okay. 
How many maidens are there? Oh, hold on, guys. Do you mean we do something? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to just, like, stop this and then, um, uh, have to do this again. Okay, so hold on. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to do, an, I'm only going to do two today, so I'm going to finish this one up, and then I'm going to do another one. I'm not sure which one. I'll figure it out. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to finish it. So, there's, I forgot how many questions there are. Fifteen questions. Okay, so I'm on seven. All right, so uh, how many maidens are there that Link must save in order to gain access to Ganon's tower. Okay, the answer is be single digit number. Okay, so let's review. Okay, so the first maiden is in the uh, Palace of Darkness, and then the second maiden is in the uh, Swamp Palace, and then the third uh, one is in the Skull Woods. The fourth one is in Thieves Tower. A uh, Thieves Tower, <laughs> Thieves Town. Uh, sorry, I swear, I'm just I'm itching the outside of my nose. Anyways, um, yeah, Thieves Town. And the fifth one is the Ice Palace. The sixth one is the I forgot what it's called. Oh, Misery Mire. The seventh one is in um. Oh wait, sorry. Sorry, maidens. Blah, 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 blah. Seventh one is Zelda, so six. Only six, because seven is Zelda, and so she's not a maiden. She is a princess. So, seven. Uh, I think you could do that, or you can also do the word it out seven. So, I'm just going to do that, though. Anyways, so, what is special about the magical boomerang? It natively travels an arch instead of straight forward back. Uh, well, you could do an arch though if you do some tricks with the uh, the um, with the um, control pad or something. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> it can be thrown much farther. It is gold colored instead of blue. It stuns enemies. Which regularly boom, boom, boomerangs don't, could not do. Could not do. No, no. Boomerangs always stun enemies, except for maybe like a few other enemies. Like, or don't even stun them for like a second. Or not at all. But, um. The magical boomerang, the only thing that's uh, different about it is that it throws faster and also does sparkly stuff and it's red. Not gold. All right. So uh, the very so it's true or false. The very useful and very versatile hook shot. Yes, my favorite uh, <laughs> item made its debut in Link to the Past. Yes, that's the first time that it's been debuted. Then it's the of course the uh, Link's Awakening. And then so on and so on. Alcarina Tie and Wind Waker. And in Twilight Princess, they change it to Claw Shot. And then in, and you get a double Claw Shot. But in Skyward Sword, you get double Claw Shot right away. Of course, after a very hard Silent Realm. I'm not going to get too much into that right now. Because I don't want to do that. Anyways, so you simply never make it through. Will never make it through the Swamp Palace without this item. What item? Am I referring to? Am I referring? Sorry. Well, you definitely won't be able to get that ma last magic bottle, or wouldn't be able to upgrade your bombs, or wouldn't be able to get to the ice palace either because you need to swim over to there. And yeah, which means you need to swim. Which means you need the Zora Slippers. Okay. Throughout the course of the game, uh, Link can require two, three medallions. Three. Yeah. Three gold medallions. Sorry. It's a, it's a song that I made up, you know, with the 12, 12, uh, this Christmas song, and the 12, ah, oh, shoot, no, I forgot. You know, Metro Love, I'm going to be, like, linked with the different characters that he met, give them 
different items, different gifts. Anyways, um, anyways, where was, I forgot, darn it. Sorry, I was in the middle of doing a question and then I blanked. Anyways, Lincoln can acquire, acquire, acquire three medallions, two by using the Book of Mudora and the Master Sword. Two of the I of the medallions are required to open the pathways to the dungeon. Which medallion is not required to beat the game? Well, oh wait, let's see the choices. I forgot to do the choices. I should do that. Ether, magic, <laughs> quake, and bombs. Well, magic is not even not even a medallion. First of all, an ether you need that to uh for the misery mire because the uh, dungeon is and the dungeon is underwater and you need to put it up as well as stop the rain. Uh, quick you need that to um, to make the the um, head of the the um, turtle rock go away so you can go into the dungeon. But bombs you really don't need that. It's not required to finish the game, I just like to have it. Especially for those pickets, because they are annoying. So, I remember it is bombs, and magic is not even one of them. That one, with the yeah, not even one of them. To run with Pegasus Boots, the player, oh, true or false, to run with magic, with the Pegasus Boots, um, the player must hold down either L or R, shoulder buttons on the Super Nintendo controller. No. For the Game Boy Advance, yes. But not for Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo, um, yeah, the Super Nintendo controller, you have to use A. You have to keep holding A. Not, well, not hold down all the time. Just hold it down enough for to get momentum. Okay, so, oh, shoot. Why did I say true? False. False. <laughs> Okay, which of these is not an item you can upgrade at some point in the game through the waterfall of wishing? Okay, boomerang, mail, arrows, shield. Okay, well you do upgrade your boomerang, you do upgrade your arrows to silver arrows, and you do upgrade your shield to the fireball shield, but you do not grab, um, do that. You upgrade it by going through different dungeons, which of course is the fifth dungeon, and then of course Ganon's Tower. So, which of these items is not found in a formal dungeon is required? Oh, which one of these items not found in the, a formal dungeon is required to beat the game? Okay, Ice Rod, Magic Cape, Bug Catching Net, and Canaburna. No, that's not required to do that, but it's really nice and makes it easier so you don't die a lot. Uh, magic cape, no, but you can do that to like sneak up on enemies if you want, except for certain ones that already know you're there. Bunch of catching net, no, not at all. We can't do anything with that except for catching fairies and bugs and bees, I mean. Um, ice rod, yes. It's not in, it's in a cave in Lake Hylia. But you need that for definitely, of course, turtle rock. But, yeah. Alright, so, uh, which of these, uh, rupee values is incorrect in Link to the Past? Okay, so, yellow rupee 10, red rupee, um, red rupee, red rupee 20, blue rupee 5, and green rupee 1. Well, the wrong one would be yellow because that doesn't come up until later in, like, Ocarina Time and Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. And I think Skyward Sword, too, but. Um, I'm going to see what time I have. Oh, 8, 5, 8 and 5. Well, it be 8 and 5, guys. Well, it's, it's 8 and 9 now. Uh, I think uh, that'll be it. I was going to do another one, but I will do another one another time. If I have time Friday, I will do that, but I'm going to be busy doing a video game vlog. I'm going to go back to that because I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to submit my answers and see what I got. See if I got everything right. Hopefully I got the 110 answer right. I'm pretty sure, though. Correct. Let's see how you did. Correct. 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 
correct, 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 Okay, yeah, 15 out of 15, I got 225 points. Awesome! Okay, I'll be right there. Um, so I'm going to end this video now. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, you can like it and you can share it with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it if you did. And also hit that, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified for new videos. I'm going to be putting down links to my previous Let's Plays and the compilations as well as my channel. I think compilation, yeah. And also going to put a link down below to this Zelda trivia if you guys want to check out the quizzes and stuff. And uh, I'm going to do a harder one next time. Um, I'll, maybe I'll do a very hard one. I'm not sure, but, um, thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!